All right, you've got Tipsy Jamie here to go through the round 14 team list with you here. It's obviously a very, very important TLT. I haven't seen it yet. And we'll obviously have to wait until Origin is done as well. It's mine and my partner's last day here in Fiji. So we're sending it off in style. That's for sure in our two-year anniversary. So happy anniversary to my girlfriend, Ish. Very, very cute there for sure. So you're here for the footy, aren't you? Not for me. I know a lot of you guys love me, but uh, we're going to go through the... The team list there, and apparently a 30-day plan to get fit uh, has just popped up, so I'm probably going to need that when I get back. Anywho, on to the Dragons and the Tigers. 10 p.m. game here in Fiji and, and New Zealand as well, so frustrating. Oh, we will be back for that game, thank goodness there. The the Dragons, the Dragons there. We do see Jesse Marshke still in that seven, so Benny Hunt has actually been named on the reserves, and all of the Origin guys have been named on the reserves there, and just something to know, guys, each and every year they do this, so three of the club, club's players listed on the Tuesday team list have been actually selected to play in a state of origin match. So that's when you see that there. They can actually name extra players on the reserves. So that's why you see there the Dragons have a couple extras on their reserves compared to what other teams may do because they have three players there who are actually going to be potentially backing up. And that's the good thing with the reserves there. They, they plug them in there and they'll potentially end up in that starting side. But what you see there is very much a very similar side and a very similar position there to what they were last week. So no, nothing really changes there. And in terms of guys that are relevant to us, RFM, a 95 last week, and a Jack DeBellin in the same spots that they were named last week. And that could change, obviously, with Sua potentially returning there. And that's the only real thing that would make a difference. Unless you were holding Lomax, you would hope that he would eventually come back and decide. And the good thing here is, you will see that they'll obviously be named that hour before, and it's the first game of the week, so that helps with that decision as well. But both these teams, it's not super important that that's gonna be the you know, how it works out, given they're not two very relevant sides there. For the Tigers, you do see Alex Lobb actually keep that wing spot. He came on and played off the bench Last time they, they went out there and Dream Buller at the fullback slot. Lockie Galvin in at six with Sullivan. Again, we still see a little bit of time until Aiden Caesar returns back in this time. I believe it's at least one more game, potentially the second one there. I think it I think it might actually be one. Round 12 was that uh, that third one for him. But anywho, on to the forwards. And a lot of people will be interested in Stefano Utokamanu. They're given he's the, the big dog prop in this side. And we do see Alex Twal named at the 10 as well. So... He's definitely someone that yeah, I'm interested in. A few other people will be interested in as well as that of Twal and that of Uto Kamaru. Not sure exactly what's going to happen with this 13 jersey. Matamua might end up in the interchanges. Twal might end up at 13. But either way, you would expect with this bench that they've named that Twali will be playing big minutes there, 50 to 55, most likely in this one here. Brent Naden has actually been named in the reserves. Uh, sorry, in the interchange in number 14 in this team with Charlie Staines in the center spot. So they've actually decided to change things up. Brent Naden gonna come on potentially as that utility guy, which does mean that you should expect Appy to be on there for the full 80, given the team that they're throwing out there with Samuel Afainu, a very, very interesting and important buy this week, given he's got the mid and the edge jewel there for sure. Uh, Siona, Sione Fainu there on the bench as well with Fenor Bole and Ruben Porter, who I don't know much about yet, but we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more digging and and work out where he's at coming into this week and just remember guys we do have three teams on the buy so you'll see seven games of action this week along with origin makes it the eight so a very very big week obviously with origin on wednesday and the first game there on the friday night so we do get a little bit extra time to get out the content as well and i think i'll only get out a little bit tomorrow if i am flying out tomorrow afternoon or evening as well i'm actually going to miss origin which is pretty tough but we're going to get a lot of information from that origin. So probably get to the one to maybe two videos tomorrow instead of the sort of four that I'm, I'm normally into. And that probably works out best anyway, given we have that extra day to get that content out there as well. So it does say Thursday at 8 p.m., but it's actually the Friday at 8 p.m. there. So that anyone who's playing origin, which is in this case is the Dragons players, that's probably why they are on the bench, uh, on the reserves there, is that they can see how they pull up, obviously. And if they aren't, to crash hot, then they won't back up there for sure. For the Titans, first thing we look at is obviously Dave Fafita and Bofa Moore, the two guys that I mentioned we should have some interest in. 
both really, really good purchases this week, in my opinion, for Fita being a captaincy option, for more being just a, a sort of a keeper level player. Kieran Foran in the seven jersey there, he is, is back, which is awesome for that side. Keanu Keeney there, still in that spot. We still don't see any sign of Jaden Campbell in the starting 17, but he is in the reserve, so that means he's very, very close, along with Tanner Boyd there as well. So that's pretty exciting for the Titans. They're, start, they're starting to get a few of their cattle back, which is really ideal as well. Something to note on the other side, just why I'm seeing that, is that Keon Kolomatangi is named in the 13 jersey. And it's very high likelihood that he will get the dual position now, edge and the mid, given that round 14 on Wednesday is the time they give out those dual positions. So it was after after round six there and then after uh, round 13, but they give that next one there as well. So for those that are interested in Keon, obviously you do have to worry about Cam Murray coming back, but I don't think he'll go straight into origin and therefore you will at least get Keon in that 13 or playing big minutes and being very, very important to the, in the, for this side and for your side for a little bit longer than you may think. But he's never been an exact keeper, so I'm worried that that'll be what will undo you. He'll get some good scores out of him. You obviously missed the 99 out of him as well. So it's a bit of an interesting pick if you wanted to go there for sure. For the rest of the, the bunny side, obviously Latrell Mitchell, someone you may want to look at for sure, given he yeah his, his ability to score well. And he plays 14, 16, 19, and 20, just missing 17 there. So he's definitely someone you want to look at. Can take that punt on him for sure, and you're, you're likely to get away with it, especially if New, Ze uh, New Zealand, New South Wales go well in origin there. So keep an eye on, on how they go and make your decision on there. If they win, I don't think that they will change any of their team unless there's injuries coming up there. A few people are looking at Jack Wyden, Cody Walker as well. I don't see the appeal as much. I guess I get, you know, White six is, is pretty good compared to him in the centers, but I do want to see it for a full game. We, we did see last game he was doing pretty well, 23 in just over 40 minutes. So, you know, looking somewhere around the 40 to 45 type of mark, which is pretty good and is definitely, you know, something that you'll be happy with at his very cheap price. So I understand if you want someone in, you know, his dual position bracket, the center and the, and the halfback, that he could, uh, he could be a good guy for your side. Just keep that in mind. If you do need a hooker this week, then Damian Cook is also a really, really solid option, mixing between 13 and 9 there as well. So that's our second game of the week. We do see Jacob Host come out of this side as well with Michael Cheekham, Michael Cheekham coming into that second row spot there as well. Aaron Clark's on the bench still. You've got Jacob Arlick, who hasn't played in a little while, actually, there. He was a you know guy that would come in if they needed a, a back rower and score really well. So, yeah, he's someone to, to note there as well. Don't fall into the Pahulu chat, uh, given he played, what, 52 minutes for 21 or something last week, which wasn't good at all. And Mo Fortawaker has been named to back up, which is really, really cool as well, with Tom Weaver and Tony Francis coming out of this side there. And Isaac Thompson and hosts for the Bunnies there. For the Cows, up against the, the Waz there, we do see Jackson Perdue in that center spot as well, and that's not ideal news for that of our origin guys, given they're all named on the reserves, which we do know that there's a very high chance that a lot of them will play. All of them have been named in the reserves there, and they have basically named the same side that they saw in round 13, apart from Jake Granville, with Sam McIntyre actually being named in the nine jersey. So with Granville being out, I do think there's a very high chance that if Robson gets through unscathed there, that he will be the man to come in for that side. Obviously, with three days rest there, it's not... Absolutely ideal. You'd want that extra little rest to get the game on Sunday instead of the Saturday. But I do think that with the Cowboys season where it's at, I do think that a lot of these guys will come in and play. But very good news for Kulikefu Finefuyaki as well, that if he was able, if Nanai was en end up being out of this side, that would be very, very helpful for him. But yeah, it's the same team that was named for game day on Sunday evening except for the fact that Tom Chester's now been named on the interchange bench with Jackson still in the back. So maybe he's not at completely perfect health given he got scratched before the game on the weekend. But I do expect a lot of these guys on the reserves to come in. They have six origin players, which is crazy. Given how poor they've been, they have like the most origin players. It's just ridiculous. Anywho, onto the Warriors there. And we do see the return of a couple of their big dog important players. Unfortunately, though, what we don't see is Sean Johnson. I'm missing. Yeah, well, he's missing there, isn't he? That's massive news. 
Ish isn't happy there behind me. Thank you. I'm not happy in my uh, one of my head-to-head -head teams, that's for sure. But, wow, SJ not named. So maybe they're giving him one extra week's rest. And I suppose with the you know how effective Chanel, Harris, DeVita, and Tamari Martin have been, they don't need to do it. And as a Cowboys fan, I'm... Look, even though they have been winning without him, I'm very happy that uh, he hasn't made it from a Cowboys perspective. But... Yeah, that's tough there. With Chance returning at the back, which is good. You've got Adam Fenua Blake in the eight jersey and then Tohu Harris in the 13. They've got Kirk Catewell coming off the bench instead with Barnett playing on that edge. We may see a switch there and Jackson Ford is in actually in the in the prop jersey. So maybe Ford will go back to edge there. But I think it seems to be with this team list, they would just change Barnett and Ford there and, and play it that way. So maybe they're liking Barnett a little bit more on the edge than what well, they're liking Ford on the edge at the moment as well. So that's very, very interesting, but super frustrating about the Sean Johnson situation. That's for sure. So yeah, we'll have to hear a little bit, find out a little bit more about that because he's not even on the reserves either. So hopefully he is back next week there as well. Didn't say anything about Johnson there, does it? Remain sideline with a pectoral injury. Yeah, it looked like it was only going to be a couple of weeks and be back by 14. So hopefully next week is the week that he does return. When you look at the Broncos, we do see all of their origin guys named, which is really, really cool. So Walsh, Haas, obviously Pat, Pat Carrigan as well, have all been named to play. Ben, Brennan Piakura is there for myself. That is helpful. Katoni Staggs does return with Selvan Cobo in the centers as well. So Carapani doesn't make the side, unfortunately, whereas he, Carapani is in the reserves with Tristan Saylor as well. So good to see Tristan is back and close to the team, along with Fletcher Baker as well. So they're getting a few of their guys back which is awesome news there as well. And no one's out of this team. So yeah, that's pretty simple on the Broncos side. For the Sharkies there, what we do see is Atkinson and Trindle being named. Where is Nico Hines? Oh no. Dun, dun. Nico Hines not even named. Holy moly. All right, Nicholas. It could be a sell now. Gee, that hurts if you've got Nico and Sean Johnson in the halves there. That's a shocker. There you go. Does anything in Blues halfback? Nico Hines will be rested this weekend with Atkinson and Trindle. Like, it, it makes sense why you want to rest him. And, gee, that could be big, hey. I suppose we just need, we definitely just need to watch him and how he plays. If he does well in Origin and they get a win, he'll keep his spot in that side. And, obviously, if they he doesn't, sorry, if he doesn't do well or the team loses, he might lose his spot to Mitch Moses. But, wow. Yeah, it's big news. That means Nico's probably a sell, guys. Just on what we've been kind of thinking and talking about is if he wasn't to be named here there was a good chance that we wouldn't be uh you know keeping him in our side so given he'll miss so this week now if he stays in origin right he misses 14 he'll play next week in 15 then he'll miss 16 good chance he like there's a chance he'll miss 17 but let's just say he plays 17 and 18 he'll miss 19 and he'll miss 20 so that's pretty tough there it's definitely something to think about for sure with Ken McInnes being named at 13, I think that he is a... If you did hold him through last week, he is a hold again. And the rest of the team basically stays the same there with Sifat Talakai actually in that edge position because of Teague Wilton actually being out. Just for this week, I believe, for Teague, from what I read from Mineral Physio just before I came here, shoulder problem. So either a week or, or two max for that situation. And Braden Hamlin, ULA, is actually out of this side as well. In that one as well. I wasn't sure what Braden's issue was. But uh, yeah, that's all right. He's out for this week as well. Not relevant. Fantasy-wise, he is either. Be a Jack Williams, Rudolph, Hunt, and Tapu, Tapu, Tapuha sorry, uh, in that interchange spot. So yeah, Nico Hines out. That's big. So yeah, definitely have to make a couple of trades in my team. That's for sure. He's definitely out. Okay. Okay, just processing that right now. Storm versus Knights. David Armstrong is named. Yes, that is massive news. Thank goodness there. Fletcher Sharp, where are you? He's on the 22, but Armstrong has been named. So that's definitely a positive start there. Kaipius Paul and Dylan Lucas both named in the exact same spot they were last week. You've got Mapapalangi and Kagai with the Nari Tawala as well. So yeah, everything stays the same in their back seven, in their forwards. Braley is still named. Interchange is good. Yeah, nothing changes there at all for the Knights, which is good news. Will Warbrick is out, so he had an injury the other day, they've actually gone Grant Anderson in that swing spot, which makes sense. Xavier Coates, they've got to back up. Tyron Wishart with Jerome Hughes there in the six and seven, which is good news. Harry Grant has been named to back up, which is awesome. I suppose them playing on Sunday really, really helps them as well. Ellie Gatoa and Sean Bloor, thank goodness for that. And Joshy King in the 13. Who's out from this side? Just Adam Warbrick. 
That's it, isn't it? Okay, cool. That makes it pretty easy. But man, that Nico Hines one, that's the big news of the week, that's for sure. And let's move to, we've got another, what do we got? Build muscle, burn fat, start your challenge today. The 30 days, they must know that I'm on holidays. That's for sure. Alrighty, last one, two more. Alrighty, that's right, we have a Sunday. We have a Monday game this week, holy schmokers. All right, that'll be fun. Anywho, Panthers, Eagles, all right. Dane, Lew Dane Laurie keeps his spot, so Edwards is being, oh, he's still in the reserves. Okay, they're giving him a chance. They're definitely giving him a chance. Isaiah, yeah, of course, he is just named in the 13 jersey. What a legend. For anyone still holding on to him, I think he's a, a season-long hold and a good one at that. So Edwards is the only one from Origin that has been named in the reserves there with Brian To'o, uh, along with, yeah, that's it. Uh, and Jerome Luai, obviously, with Jack Cole. So Schneider's been shafted to the, to the reserve. So congratulations, Jack Cole owners. That is a massive win for you there. Trent Tala, to Talao, Tala, Tala, we'll go with that. Lindsey Smith, Liam Henry, and Luke Garner all named on the bench there. So all hands on deck for the Panthers, except for Taylor May, obviously, and then Nathan Cleary. So that's pretty big there as well. Oh, no. Oh, Cola. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> we're already moving on. My eyes have diverted to the Eagles side. Lee Hi. Hopawade has been named at the back with Cola in the centers. That's incredible news. Maybe because of the workload and... Yeah, the sweeping plays or something like that. But I suppose that as a with an AC joint injury, you wouldn't want to do a, a heck load of tackling. But maybe this is, you know, maybe he's fine, which is probably what we kind of thought he would be. If he's fine, and I just liked how they played with Hopawati last week. So good that Cole is playing, but not great that he's in centers, to be honest with you. You brought him for to play at fullback, and he hasn't got that position this week. So that's super frustrating. Corey Riddell still on the bench. Nothing else really changes. Sharon Woods is out in this one. And Burbo, Jerbo, Jerbo has been named to return, which will be cool. But yeah, it's a late one on, on Sunday for them. So yeah, it's big, big news, I suppose, there. And then for the Doggies, we see Karaz back on the wing, which is awesome. Blake Wilson on the other wing. So hopefully Wilson stays on the left-hand side, which he played a bit there last, time, uh, last year. Sam Hughes still being named to start. Along with Preston and Salmon, Kurt Mann, Hayward, Hayward and Kurt Mann might might change again. Moran, Karen, and uh, Hapoi, Hapoi. We'll go with that. Um, Hutchinson's in a twenty-two, so it makes sense, I suppose. They went Burton and Sexton prior to last game, which was good. And yeah, there you go. All right, where is he? Blaze Talangi. He's been named in the centres. Big big news there. Nothing really else to, to mention on the dog side, guys. Obviously, other than Preston is a potential buy, Reed is a potential buy. They do have a uh, they are out with a buy next week. They're in round fifteen. Uh, if you're looking at this side, we still see Joey Lustig and Madison in the reserves there. So yeah, still not super excited about that. Dejan Assi misses the team there with Blaze Talangi in the centre. So that's good news there for Talangi holders. That's for sure. He'll obviously make a bit of cash this week, which will be good with a low break even in Supercoach. And also for fantasy there, Brown and Moses. If you're looking at Moses, I understand. If you look at Hands, awesome. I understand. Kelmer or Bryce Cartwright and Tulangi there, both really good options. And Jermaine Hopgood being named to return in the 13 jersey. They play on Monday, so I doubt that anything will really happen with that. The big news, obviously, in this game, Josh Adokar out for a good while, a pretty bad hamstring strain. Bailey Simonson out with an ACL tear, unfortunate for him. He's had a yeah a pretty good year, to be honest, and we you know, were looking at him in the preseason as a good option, and he really did what he could, and apparently he's been battling with a partial ACL tear for six weeks. So that's tough. Uh, tough, tough player. That's for sure, but yeah, everything else is the same with the Eels, and yeah, we'll leave the TLT at that one, guys. Hope that that helped out your team in some way, shape, or form. I know the Heinz thing is, is pretty frustrating, but it likely means that he is a sell this week, given how many games he will miss. You could wait and see what happens in Origin, which obviously we will, but take that. There's a decent chance that he'll play well enough, 50 50 chance that they'll win, obviously. And so you could take the plunge that he potentially gets dropped and then he actually plays in round. So he misses 16 anyway, but he plays in 17 and 19. So there's a couple extra games that you would get out of him. Otherwise, he's going to miss that four games from now until round 21, which is pretty tough there for sure. So that's the TLT, guys. Hope that helps you guys helps you there. And we'll get at least one or maybe two videos out tomorrow through the day before Origin comes out. And I'm super excited for Origin. Uh, I'll try and watch a replay when I get home, obviously. 
and uh, we'll go from there. I hope you know. Good luck to everyone. Every one of your players not getting injured, and yeah, I hope this TLT helped you guys. Didn't hinder too much, that's for sure. So thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one.